Rescue at Table Mountain near Oroville last night. Thanks to Butte County Search and Rescue. Action News Now reporter Chloe Curtis is live there. Uh, Chloe, how bad were the conditions when the volunteers arrived? Linda, the fog wasn't so bad. That is until volunteers hit Cherokee Road. That's when they say visibility shrunk to less than 50 feet in front of their vehicle. These are some images that volunteers snapped at the rescue scene last night. The call from the hikers came in around 715. As that fog rolled in, it became so thick that the two hikers coming back from Phantom Falls at Table Mountain became disoriented. Public relations officer Dennis Schmidt says the weather even challenged rescuers there, having to think on their feet about how to navigate that thick fog. I've got a pretty nice headlamp that I spent a lot of money on. It's super bright, and I really couldn't see anything with it because it was just a white fog in front of me. So I turned it off and went to just a handheld flashlight. It's also very bright, but by having it much lower, it worked much better. Dennis Schmidt has worked with the team for about 15 years and was one of the first to get to Table Mountain last night because he was driving from Durham. With that in mind, he says the fog in the valley versus what it was like at Table Mountain was very different. The fog was actually so thick that even volunteers that have taken this turnoff into the parking lot dozens of times had a difficult time finding it. Schmidt says the volunteers were able to walk right into the Table Mountain hiking area and find those hikers and guide them out safely. He says if you are ever in a situation like this, to call 911 from your phone rather than, say, contacting a friend that you're lost because they directly use those coordinates of where the call is coming from to find you. And this was exactly the situation last night and how they located those hikers. Live in Chico, Chloe Curtis, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. All right, thank you, Chloe. Glad that search had a happy ending. Now, Schmidt says about 15 or 16 volunteers responded to the scene at Table Mountain last night.